Kimmy Kim and welcome back to my channel. Today I have lots to share with you. Um, a little bit of a project share. I don't even know if you want to call it a project, just um, some things I've been up to. Um, first, before I begin, I want to thank some very important ladies, talented artists and mentors, if you will. Um, Tracy Fox, Izzy B, Patricia Viermontes, Wendy Connors Beckett, Mrs. Coggs, and Nick the Booksmith. Those are the ladies who have inspired me and showed me their trait. Um, I've given it a try and it is so much fun. Um, I'll start with Patricia. She is, <laughs> Patricia Viermontes, if you don't know her, go check her out. She is amazing. She has a tuck pocket, um, a envelope, a, um, embellishment for anything and everything. Um, she is quite talented and has been around YouTube for quite a few years. Um, definitely talented and knows what she's doing and I uh, have great respect for her. I've bought her journals. I've recently bought um, some of her pockets and, and things. So um, yeah, so I respect her a great deal and thank her very much. Thank you, Patricia, for um, sharing your sharing your gift. So I will get started with that and um, start with Patricia's things. I call them Patricia's things. Well, I made them, but Patricia showed me how. This is like uh, her, her deal. So she makes these little roses or flowers with buttons and little twine in them. And um, so I have I don't know, a dozen or so here for um, journals as I work in them. And I just have them in this baggie and keep them in there. These are ones that I just made recently. Uh, let's see. So they're still drying. But uh, yeah, they're really cute. Super, super cute. So thank you, Patricia. And I will move on because there's a lot to show you. She has this envelope that she, she has shown me how to do. And there's many different variations. And I like the variation that she, um, with the punch here on the lip there. Um, I, I decided because I have lots of vintage um, patterns that I would put the patterns on, on the pockets. So I like that look. That works for me and kind, kind of puts a, a Kimmy Kim twist into the, the Patricia pocket, <laughs> if you will. And so they come in all sizes. Um, let's see, I think this is the biggest size. Then you can, I mean, you can change it to any, any old size you want. There's one. I like this one with the old metal button and the pattern. Now you don't have to put these little clips on here. I put them on there so that when they're in, in the, um, the envelope or the baggie that I keep them in that they don't flip like this one's flipping a little bit. So I do that for that reason. It kind of trains them to not do that because um, one secret ingredient that Patricia swears by and I have experimented lately with it and that's puzzle glue. This stuff is amazing. It gives it such an antique vintage look and feel. It's crinkly and it's strong. It's not, uh, Mod Podge gives it that feeling as well but Mod Podge is a little softer, not so crunchy. <laughs> it's the best way I can I can explain it to you but so yeah, I did these pockets. Then a friend of mine, we were playing, we were doing our little craft night and um, she tried Patricia's pocket in a little version. And so I was like, I want to do that. So I tried <laughs> the little, this is the teeny tiny version. And, um, and it just shows that it works any way that you, you know, need for your own needs in your journal. And see, I put the pattern on there. And I used the puzzle glue to uh, 
decoupage that on there. So these are these are plain without embellishments. Um, I have those and then some of these that are just ready for um, whatever I need them to be ready for. So I make lots and lots of those. And let's move on. Let's see, what else? Uh, let's see. I'll try and stick to Patricia. I just recently learned this from her. And her specialty is taking book pages and making all kinds of things. I mean, things you can't even imagine out of them. So you're not wasting your book pages. So yeah, it's a little envelope. I just stuck this little punch here because I liked it that way. But um, you can do any old way you want. So that's cute. And this pocket, little crisscross in the front, in the back. And I think this is just a bigger one. A bigger bird. Oh, here's some more that Patricia taught me. Here's a pocket that has a double tuck there and there. So I made a couple of those. Here's a single, just one single tuck. And then here's a tuck on each corner. So you can put, um, God, I wish I had a piece of paper handy. So that you can put something right in here. So yeah, lots of things I've been learning. I've been busy. And let's see, I think that's, that's it. We'll move on to the next thing. Here is my little baggie of tags. And this, I want to thank Tracy Fox. She has uh, shared her talent in making these tags with Edith Holden's uh, book pages. And they're really it's really pretty. Um, you got the plant, the stamp. There's a little pocket. I stuck this in here just to show that's a pocket. And then a quote. And I like how her tag is, like there. And it's distressed. Really pretty. These are quite large. Um, let's see. These are the ones that I practiced on. These are seven inches by two and three quarters inches. So they're a good size. And you can use like here's the vellum from Tim Holtz paper pack. That works. So yeah. Those I love those. I think they're so pretty. And what I did to um Let's see if I can find them. Hold that thought. Let me see if I can find them first. Hmm, where did I put those tags? Here they are. I needed them to be smaller to fit in my journals. Um, so I made a small version, <laughs> a little peewee version. And I love Edith as well. Big fan of her books. Um, I have like four or so copies of them. Um, I have one that I don't touch, meaning I don't recycle and use the pictures and words. And then the others I, I use for my craft um, and for making things for others. So let's see, this one is almost four and a half by almost two, so it's much smaller. And what I did with these here, and they have a little pocket as well, is I chose a plant, and then the tag reflects the name of the, this is Red Dead Net Nettle, and that's the name of that plant. And then stamping and, and uh, distressing. This one's so cute, this is the bird and it's a willow warble. 
There's the butterfly. And I just love these stamps. An orange trio butterfly. There's another one. And this has two things. It's got the butterfly and, well, it's got a couple plants here going on plus the butterfly. So I stuck a couple on the, on the tag. Purple clover and meadow foxtail grass. This one's wood crow foot. Interesting name of a plant. And the daffodil. So I had fun making those. That was where I could have been making those all day. And um, next, let's see. Next I'm going to say Izzy, Izzy B. Izzy B shared her talent and um, she makes these tags. My ball tag, my ball pin is sideways. Let me get a different one out. Okay. Nope, I pulled out one that's not like that. <laughs> it's like I kind of made several my own way. And you do that when you learn from others. You, you take a little bit of what you've learned from them and you make something yours and that's fine and that's why we all share um, our ideas and things and that's what's so nice about this community um, so yeah so Izzy made these awesome tags and um, the bottom flips like this now you can attach something on there and you can put this as like a flip in your a page almost in your journal there's a lot you can do with it um, I made these um, ephemera this mushroom I love mushrooms so and this other mushroom and I distressed this ticket so I kind of did my own thing um, in the pocket and um, used the style that Izzy taught me um, on how to make make the tag with the pocket and these little tags that she's so known for um, they are so stinking cute um, this one says remember uh, this one says butterfly and there's a picture of a bird with a butterfly and then here's the little stamp here on the book page Hey, I forgot to put a, I forgot to put that on here. <laughs> I thought it looked plain. I was like, what's going on there? Okay, and this one says remember, and it's got the dragonfly. Let's see, there's a whole bunch in here. I have been busy getting my craft on. There's another one with a butterfly. It's got the little butterfly thing there, and I, another mushroom. And I put with the butterfly picture. And these images came from on Etsy. I'm not sure what the artist is at this time. I'm, it's escaping me, but um, if I remember, I'll put it, put it down below. And these are what they look like before you do anything to them. You copy dye a tag that looks like this. So you copy dye it or tea stain it or however you want to do it. Then you distress it and you're cutting it. You're cutting this from this tag and um, making the pocket out of the tag. So it's pretty cool. Really, really great idea. I think they're so pretty. Here's another one with the butterfly. And this one with the dragonfly. Okay, let me see what else I can show you. I have... Here's a couple things from 
Nick the booksmith. And she started, oh, I don't know, I think I watched her video from 2016 um, doing Franken um, paper and Franken tags. And um, now it's like a craze. I think everyone's doing the Franken thing. <laughs> and she just started it like that. It's just so fun to, to make these things out of your scraps. Um, these are the tags that I made out of my scraps. Um, I did add a picture. The picture wasn't in my scraps. But um, and you just sew it on there. There's one. I just sewed a ticket on there. And a little bit of sorry silk here. So I just jazzed it up a little bit. And then if you look, if you watch Nick's video, her tutorial will show you how to make the Franken Pages paper. Franken paper, I think she calls it. And these are just a few that I've made. This is my least favorite, to be honest. And there's the back. I'm really enjoying making it. Um, I don't know how good I am at it, <laughs> but I'm having a darn good time doing it. This one, what I did was, I was struggling with the look of the back side. Um, so what I did is I put some copy dyed paper as the back side. So that I don't have to worry about doing two sides. And I liked that much better. And this one, I think this was my first one. I like this one. I liked the colors and everything going on. That's a lot of fun. So thank you, Nick. Thank you for that. And I noticed when I was moseying through this envelope here that I have a couple more things uh, that I learned from Patricia. And these are her guest check uh, tags. So yeah, they're made out of a guest check. And again, I used um, my um, what am I I'm trying to think of the word? My patterns, yes. I used my patterns again on them to give it a little something extra. And I like it. I think it I think it's it's nice. Now I can't get this out of here. There we go. And my ephemera is backed with um, coffee dyed paper and distressed. I just put a little bit of lace there and some uh, seam binding, a little postcard, and I put it on some cardstock. And I did with this little two inch one too. I put it on cardstock. So it's really cute. And then this one I just left, left plain, but I like it. I think it's cute with a little tag that I stuck on some cardstock. So yeah, thank you, Patricia. Let me try and move some of this out of the way. I have a little box of goodies. Yeah, my ephemera, like I started just use, I thought, yeah, Kimmy, you can use this box. That'll fit all your ephemera in it. Uh, no. <laughs> Not even close. Not even close. Oh, here are more of those tags from Izzy B that uh, I learned from her. And I have different ones that suit me. Um, botanical, breathe, uh, let's see, mushroom, because <laughs> I had butterfly. Believe, magic, so um, just words that mean mean something to me, and now I can use these on other tags, and I'm all set. So okay, let's see. This I learned from Wendy. Wendy, um, I 
think this one's from Wendy. I'm like, now I'm thinking, I think this is a Wendy, Wendy envelope. Um, yeah, she uses cards, life cards. I'm trying to think what I used playing cards and covered, covered the playing cards with the book paper and, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm confusing myself. Unless I'm doing... I think this one... I think I messed up, y'all. Okay. Back up. Rewind. <laughs> Take a sip of your coffee. It's late. I'm delirious. Um, I believe this is a Patricia one still. This is um, one of her newer ones. That uh, I learned from her. And I just put the... Uh, embellishments already on it yeah I remember because I remember this one being the first one I made because I kind of messed it up and then you can make all different sizes and it has two pockets so it has like a pocket here and a pocket here and I just put some lace on the inside. So yeah, I made quite a few of those. They were fun. I enjoyed making those. Let's see, here's some more. And you can jazz them up more, but I have I have them in this box, so I didn't want to put any, you know, anything on it, other than the picture. And I'm really into the botanical thing, so all these are botanical right now. Um, I plan on making a journal reflecting that. Okay, here's a complete one um, that I finished the inside. And there's two pockets. There's one up here, and then there's one down here. So that's what they'll all, you know, look like. Now, okay, now these are Wendy. These I learned from Wendy. So it's got, this has got a little pocket right here and they're made from cards. Now I used like a deck of cards that I got at a thrift store that not all of them were there, um, but they were the big, big cards. So that's what I used and I just put Tim Holtz paper over it and sewed it together. So I like that. This is a cute little, um, little flip with again the book pages the use of that and the coffee dyed paper attached so then I used Tim Holtz paper on the outside and this is an eyelet uh, material that I have scraps of that um, is coffee coffee dyed so I use that to hinge it and here's another one Got the papers. Really cute to put in your journals. This, I love this one. Wendy, thank you so much for showing this one. This was so cute. As soon as I watched her tutorial, I was like, I gotta go do this. I like, watch out, let me get to my sewing machine. <laughs> it's like so much fun. It's Edith Holden again, one of my favorites. And um, her images are all throughout. And her words, used her words on the inside. And made a little pocket. This is just a little glassine bag in the pocket. And then I did some stenciling there. And that was a lot of fun. Here's another one. Again, some stenciling. And this one I used um, book pages and Tim Holtz instead. So you can do, you know, whatever you like. And the daffodils. Some more stenciling. You can do stamping. You can do anything. There's another one with the bird. 
and I chose stenciling again the pocket they're just so cute I love them these are my favorite that's why I have so many I like the flip but I love the little booklet like it's just like a little notebook it's so cute and again that's that one's Tim Holtz but his more botanical one and this is a little a little one like uh, these that I showed you just showing you you can make it different sizes but here's one finished all jazzed up I just didn't put any ephemera in the pockets yet let's see what else oh I made more of these I experimented with these um, little pockets again let's see if I can get this ticket if I can show you that this is a pocket and this I had some pretty um, some old paper that I hadn't used and um, I was like I'm gonna see you know I'm just gonna use it on the card pocket and see how it turns out and it looks really cute super cute and this is another another paper pad and again another one just trying to get different looks and then there's Tim Holtz let's see there's one, another one I put a little flower there these little ones are cute uh, I have more Tim Holtz these I didn't put any stenciling in I just left that really like this butterfly one and then I use the rulers that's Tim Holtz what else is in here let's see I think I only have a couple things left y'all just another one of those so yeah I've been really busy and um, I've been taking I can't remember if I told y'all or not um, Mrs. Coggs and Nick the Booksmith have classes on uh, their style of journaling and I'm taking those classes now I just finished I just finished Nick's and I have two journals to show y'all um, here this week and I'll get those up and for y'all to see and I just started Mrs. Coggs I had to get some supplies so um, I'll be ready to get into that this week and yeah and learning from all my um, Instagram friends, Tracy Fox, Izzy B, and uh, Wendy and Patricia, my YouTube buddies. Um, I've also bought one of Wendy's um, journals, absolutely stunning, and I will show that. Now, I've shown Patricia's before. I've done a flip through of it. I haven't shown Wendy's yet, and I will do that here soon so y'all can see her, her gifts and her talents. Um, amazing, amazing work. And um, I guess that's it, y'all. I better get myself to bed. And um, thank you for spending your time with me and um, looking at all my little doodads. <laughs> and uh, y'all have a safe day and a pleasant week. Take care.